the cave of Chiron. Jason was a son of Aeson, the rightful king of Locus. When Jason was a baby, his wicked uncle Peleus, the king's brother, took the throne unlawfully from Aeson. Jason's mother feared Peleus would return and harm the child, so she sent him away, where he could be raised and taught in safety by the wise Chiron, king of the centaurs. No child of Greece would ever have a teacher as learned as Chiron. He trained Jason well in all of the arts and in warfare. Chiron taught Jason the laws of nature and about the ways of the gods. When Jason was 20 and could learn more from Chiron, he left the cave to return to Locus and reclaim the throne in his father's name. After he said goodbye to the great centaur, he made his way down the forested slope until he came to a rapidly rushing stream. A very old woman stood there, afraid to cross. Jason offered to carry her. He easily lifted her up and started across. But with every step, she became heavier, and Jason stumbled through the water, losing a sandal on the way before barely reaching the other side. He was astonished then to see her disappear in a flash of light and to hear a woman's voice. Have no fear, Jason, she spoke. I am Hera, wife of mighty Zeus, and you have undergone a trial. A true king must have compassion as well as wisdom and strength, and you have shown you possess all three. I will guide you through the many difficult times to come. She then bade him to present himself to his evil uncle Peleus, just as he was. You will understand when you look on the unworthy faith of Peleus, who refuses to honor Zeus. A prophecy has told him he will lose his kingdom to one who will arrive wearing only one sandal. Go then, she continued, trust in me and let things happen as they will. And the voice was gone. Stunned, Jason traveled on to Locus, clad in leopard skin with two spears and his one sandal. At the king's palace, the nobles stared at him with bold curiosity. But the king Peleus trembled in fear when he saw them, remembering the words of the prophecy. Who are you? demanded Peleus. Why have you come? Jason stood tall and replied, I am Jason, the son of Aeson, your brother, and I am here to claim the throne from you, for you have unjustly taken it. Peleus had no intention of giving up his throne. Instead, he was already thinking he would send his handsome youth on an impossible quest. If you are truly the son of a king, you must demonstrate your worthiness. Bring me back the golden fleece and you can have the throne. Peleus was sure no one could survive the long, dangerous journey to Colchis, much less the monstrous serpent guarding the fleece. Do this, Peleus went on, and I will take it as a sign from the gods that you shall rule as king.